Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross, and today I review Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Or simply, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So this is an adventure action film from 1981 that, of course, um, is... Written by George Lucas and Phil Cuff, uh, Philip Kaufman, excuse me, and also Lawrence uh, Kasdan. Uh, directed by, of course, the legendary Steven Spielberg, and it stars Harrison Ford, Chris, uh, Kirsten Allen, Paul Freeman, Ronald Lacey, John, uh, John Reese. Davis and Del Home Elliot. So I've already explained the genre. So in this film we have Indiana Jones played by Harrison Ford who goes on archaeological adventures till he finds that there is the Ark of the Covenant. And if you can find it, it can be a way of unleashing great power, including the, you know, able to talk to God and summon great deadness and power and what have you. So, and also Indy finds that the Nazis are also on the hunt for it. And they go, yeah, and the year is 1936. So, you know, Nazi Germany. And um, Indiana, well, has to stop these Nazis from getting their hands on the Ark. But of course, we all know that the Ark, when they open it, Indiana and what's her name? That's it, Marion. Raven would cut, close their eyes. You know, after you know they open it, and the Nazis, of course, melt away in a horrifying manner which is good effects for its time and of course you know the ark manages to get taken by indiana but then he takes it to be a take you know, taken care of by some top men top men so what did i like about this movie well i liked that this was the first film of course my introduction to the franchise was the third film the last crusade but we'll get to that one but i watched this one many many years ago and I've watched it quite a few dozen times like Star Wars you know because I just have and um, you know I still like it now you know Harrison Ford fresh off Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back and the fact that he's still playing Indiana to this day is amazing because the guy's like 81 nearly uh, but anyway, yeah, he's playing Indiana Jones in this, he's young, he's about 39, and uh, I just liked his laid-backness as he was caught up in this ordeal and this adventure, and um, also, you know, we get, like, a love interest, you know, Marion, who tags along on the adventure with him. I also liked uh, John Rhys Davies' character, what's his name? Ah, uh, that's it. Salah. Salah. You think with me seeing all these these films many times, you'd think I'd have got all their names by now. But of course, you know, I seem to remember Indiana Jones. Oh, and his dad, Henry Senior, but like I said, third movie. Um, I liked him too as a supporting character. We also, I believe, get a cameo from Dan Aykroyd. Or is that the second film? Um, no, that's the second film. You know, uh, but, yes. Um... I like the action and the adventure in this and, you know, Indiana's signature whip. This film's just under two hours, so 100, uh, it says here yeah, 115 minutes and, well, I believe it was distributed by Paramount Pictures but done by Lucasfilm but Disney Plus, because all four of them are on Disney Plus now, um, I've, I think you know, get it using their rights of Lucas films, they owned half the franchise, so they put it on there. So yeah, uh, but of course, this new one that they've done is you know, by Disney and Lucas film. Anyways, um, 
Yes, of course, who can forget the signature theme song music that we hear throughout the film series and of course, you know, I liked the opening too with the gold and he's switching it around and then he runs through that whole trap and ordeal with the boulder. That scene's gone on to be remembered in pop culture and referenced many times, even if you've not seen the Indiana Jones films, you should probably know that signature theme and at least a few references to that opening act uh, but yeah I think it's a solid adventure film uh, but I mean over time as I've got older I've kind of thought yeah you know like you know if he just let the Nazis get it they would have just melted away and died anyway as Amy Farrah Fowler pointed that out in an episode of the Big Bang Theory and she's right but ah still it's a good switch your brain off you know it's even a family flick as well I, you know and um, yeah and was the start of what was a good trilogy at that time so ratings what am I gonna rate this one well they had some good filming locations some good scenery and some good you know just just some fun moviness so I'm gonna give Indiana Jones well I'm gonna give Raiders of the Lost Ark Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark I'll give it a I think I'll give it a yeah I'll give it a four out of five four out of five for Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark the first one so there you go there's my review for that one so have you seen it let me know down in the comments below if you have and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and to share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. I've been Random Ross and this has been a random review. So until next time I bid you all a goodbye friends goodbye.